Constraint-induced movement therapy is a contemporary motor learning treatment approach that utilizes a task-oriented um, activity after individuals have experienced some kind of a neurological insult that affects one side of their arm, such as a stroke, um, which will then leave them with weakness of one side of the body. So the idea is to constrain the non-affected arm using a mitt or a sling or a combination of both in order to force the client to use the more involved upper extremity to promote more functional use of it. The goal is to use the affected upper extremity in frequent, intense, and mass practice tasks. Um, noted in our PowerPoint, there is the more traditional CIMT and then there's the modified CIMT. The length of treatment may vary depending on which method you use, but activities and principles of interventions um, are the same in both of them. So the next clip is going to show a demonstration of an individual who sustained a stroke three weeks ago, which has caused right side hemiparesis. Um, you'll note through contemporary motor learning that we'll be working on the skill acquisition stage with activities for this client as it's early in the recovery period still. Um, and during this stage, the goal is for the client to learn what to do um, and what the task is all about. So the OT might demonstrate the activity first, um, provide physical assistance as needed to complete the task, um, and provide feedback both during and after the activity during this stage. This is Steve, and he had a stroke approximately um, three weeks ago, and about one week ago we started constraint-induced therapy with him. So today we are going to work on self-feeding, um, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put his mitt on his unaffected arm, which is his left arm, left hand. This will help keep him from using that. It's a reminder to help him keep from using that one because we want him to be using his affected side, which is his right side, um, since he's experiencing right side hemiparesis. So first of all, with constraint-induced therapy, with a new task, typically the OT will demonstrate the activity that they want to do. So I'm just going to show my client here what I want him to do, and I just want him to grab his spoon, scoop his cereal, and bring it to his mouth and take a bite, and then replace it, put a spoon back down after each bite. And we're going to keep doing the same movement, um, repeated movement, until he gets the hang of it. So are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so I want you to go ahead and try and grab the spoon with your right hand. You're doing really good. That's good. Let me show you something real quick, a way to get grasp your spoon a little bit better, okay? Instead of trying to come at it from top, I want you to slide your hand across and place your fingers over the top of it for better control. Go ahead. Great. Now go ahead and grasp that spoon. Nice. And I want you to go ahead and try and scoop your cereal. You're really good. You're almost there. Okay. Let's try this again. Remember what I taught you the first time? Slide. Yep. Go ahead and slide across. Those fingers over the top. Nice. And grasp that spoon. Very good. Scoop. And this time I'm going to provide you just a little bit of assistance so you can get it up there without losing it, okay? And then put that spoon back down. Very nice. You did a really good job. So, I just want you to remember um, to keep sliding your hand across to grab that spoon, and we're going to keep working on this today, and then we'll continue with it the next session too, okay? Okay.